Welcome back. If you just joined us, we've been talking to women who work as prostitutes in a uh, house of ill repute in, in New Orleans. And uh, we're not just talking to the women, we're also now talking to their boyfriends. Um, and we have just met Michael, who is Eva's boyfriend. And Michael comes on and tells us that he loves this woman. This is the woman that he wants to spend, uh, perhaps spend his life with. And then, all of a sudden, a month or two ago, she decides she wants to become a prostitute. Um, talk to her and I'll stay out of it. You two talk to each other for a moment. Well, we had this, uh, you know, this fight it's over money. I know, like, we don't have enough right now, but I don't understand why you have to do this. I'm doing this for us. If you go future. along with the program, I might give you 15 I don't need your, your money. <laughs> I don't, I don't care how broke I get. I will never take money from the likes of you. Okay? Man, this is a beautiful woman right here. This now. is a beautiful woman, and you need to keep your hands off her oh. and, like, stay away from her. I don't put my hands on her. I let other men put their hands yeah, on her. Well, for a price. <laughs> Trust me, when we get back down to New Orleans, you're going to be out of business so fast, it's going to make your cute little head so <laughs> Eva, Eva, what do you want to say to Michael? That I, I just, I don't understand why he just can't accept this about me. I'm doing this, but... Uh, we practice nothing... safe sex. <laughs> He's not around. We had, before, we had no time for each other. He was working two jobs, I had a part-time job, and I'm in school full-time. So when we were home, he was sleeping and I was studying. Now, with the money that I'm making, he can quit one of his jobs, we can have more time together, more quality time that we need, and I'm making more money than the both we of us We can't enjoy making. the money that you make. I can't. I can't. How am I supposed to enjoy the money that you make sleeping you with know. other men? When you didn't know about this, that was fine. I thought you were getting that from your part-time job. Well, now Not it's full-time. God, Isn't having sex with other people? If you two are in a relationship, how do you feel about him? I love him. You love him. Yeah, but who do you love more? Okay. Who do you love more? Ben Franklin or him? No, she loves me. I know the girl loves me. I know that Eva loves me. Well, I hate to think she's doing it for Ben Franklin. <laughs> look, look. You say you love him. And, and he's returning that. He's saying the same thing. Can't you see where he's coming from? If, he's, if you love him, can't you see him saying to you, I love you so much, I want to have a relationship with you, perhaps have a marriage with you, I'd rather you not share your body with any other person. <laughs> Why? Is that so hard to understand? No, he's not, he's not there to do that. He's not there to give me that attention. Because I'm working all the time. But you don't so have like, to work. Yes, I do, because I don't want you doing this. I don't have to work. <laughs> you know... Hey, Michael, I don't have to work. Why don't you take a little bite of this guy? And he pays me a ton of attention. I don't have to work. <laughs> you probably could not get a job even if you spent 24 hours a day looking for one. Well, there's the example Who the heck would I want to you? follow. <laughs> Well, that is a point. Maybe down at the rattlesnake farm or something like that. <laughs> but anyway, you've obviously got a completely different deal going on over here. And, and I've got that a sweet deal. You That's have what nothing I got to going. do He's with, like, 10% and I've offered you 50 I don't want any of your money. Well, then I'll just keep tipping around like I've been doing. You can just get over it. Because I'm going to keep doing it. And you can call the well, police. You, I look, don't care. Look, the, obviously there's scum on this earth. And, like, scum is going to do what scum does. Yeah, and you're going to keep doing what you do. I just don't want you doing it with Eva here. Well, you can say what you want. But I got an awful fat baggage now. This is, not, this is not up to him. I made this decision on my own. Well, and Kitty helped. But look, I'm going to call you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what I want to be doing right now. I don't Look, we couldn't, I mean, we live in New Orleans. I mean, what, what if you just, like, 
even even if, and I wouldn't like to see that. What if you got a job at one of those clubs on Bourbon Street? At least there wouldn't be sex involved in that. They don't make no money. How do you know? What, you used to be a dancer? No, I didn't used to be a dancer, but, well, as far as <laughs> oh, I know, anyway, on. I mean, even that would be better, better, but this girl has a future. I mean, why, can, you have to work, like, you have to, like, work your way up, and, like, and then you make some money. I so mean, be why a dancer, you and then wait? you can fuck for money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> work your way up. Oh, this is just, this is, I mean, I don't know why, why do you? I don't know, I keep focusing on you, Eva, because somehow I think, in looking at the panel, that, you still have a chance not to, not to really be doing this. Because I think you've all made your decisions. Man, you just leave me alone, man. I, this girl is going to keep working for me as long as I want her as to long keep as Oh, as long as you want her to. Huh? That's right. The thing is, see, Eva is okay, like make... a really smart, she's a, like a smart, wonderful That's why girl. She's working I for didn't me. marry a girl who I thought right. was going to be a Michael, hooker. Michael, I'm going to turn it over to you now. This is your chance to make your, your plea to her. Honey, I love you. I mean, the, <laughs> like, I know that, like, things are not the way either one of us wants them to be, but you're only 23 years old. I mean, <laughs> give us some time. I mean, well, the younger, like, the better. We just need some time, and when you get through with school, and we can move back up north, like where the job market is better, and then like, I mean, I'm willing to like like forgive you like it, for this. I mean, what, we can, we can keep lives? going, but I can't. I this like tears me apart. I can't have you doing this. But it's not. I mean, we you, can't. I can't be with you if you're going to do this. Well, take a ticket. And hey, go. you stay out of this. <laughs> you just stay out of this. She ain't going nowhere, man. What she does. Why don't you just accept it and take 15% like, well, he takes 10%. I'll give you 15 <laughs> You're new, and I know you don't like it, so I'll give you 5% more. On a good night, she makes two no, grand. You're like, uh, like just about everybody's worst nightmare. What? I can't believe you're actually sitting here. Okay, come Okay, we'll get back and find out what your answer is a little later on in the show. In the meantime, coming up, this man says CT's cat house is the greatest thing since sliced bread, but his wife says... It's either her house or the cat house. We'll meet them next. Stay with us.